another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video i will show you how to solve the problem coin change so let's get started by reading the problem you are given an integer array coins representing coins of different denomination and an integer amount representing a total amount of money so return the fewest number of coins that you need to make up that amount if that amount of money cannot be made up by any combination of the coins return minus one you may assume that you have an infinite number of each kind of coin this problem is a dynamic programming problem and dynamic programming is basically a manner in which we save previously calculated values so that we may easily obtain them again without having to recalculate and in other words stored values can be rapidly retrieved and used as sub solutions to solve bigger ones so in order to better understand it let's look at the coin change problem suppose we are given a list of coin values for example one two and five then you are given an amount of six and instructed to locate the fewest coins needed to make it so you in basic calculation we will determine that 6 can be made up in the following ways and now this is a simple way to solve the problem but if the amount is big it will be very boring and not a good way to solve the problem but luckily there is a much easy way to do it and it's by using dynamic programming so for the dynamic programming approach we're gonna create an array that will hold the minimum numbers of coins for each amount starting from 0 to the amount which is in this, this case it's equal to 6 so now the question we face is what values do we initialize each index with? Well, since we're dealing with minimums, value are often initialized to infinity. And we know that to reach the amount zero, the number of coins that you'll need is always going to be zero. So we can say that there are zero ways of making zero and starting at one, all the other amount is infinite. Now let's look at each coin on its own to figure out how many of each coin are needed to make each portion or amount. So since we're starting looping at one how many coin do we need to make one amount so from the amount zero how many coin do i need to make one amount zero plus one it's going to be equal to zero now we ask which is smaller one or infinity so it's one we replace infinity with one so what are we doing here it's basically looking at how many coins it takes to make amount of zero and then use it that amount to make one and after that we move to the next amount and we know that it takes one coin to make one one amount after that we move to the next amount and we know that it takes one coin to make one amount so we just add coin to another coin to make two and we replace the infinity by two which is the new minimum number of coins so with just the first coin one we can find the minimum number of coins that we can use to get the specific amount but what about the other coins two and five so here we're going to use the second coin but at first we already seen the way in which using one coins will get us a certain amount so for example the amount two how many numbers of two coins we need to make the amount of two so from the amount zero we need just one of two Two coins so we can say that 0 plus 2 is going to be equal to 2 means we need only one of the two coins to make the amount of 2 so we replace the 1 by 2 inside the minimum coins array and we move to the next number for example 3 we can say that the, from the amount 1 we can add the two coins to get the the three amount so we need only one of the one coins and one of the two coins to make the amount of three so replace three by two and now we come to the interesting part and I think you might start to notice the pattern. So to make the number four with one coins and two coins, we can see that we only need two coins to make four, which is the minimum numbers of coins needed. Or we can add a two coins to the amount of two to get a total of four. We can say that from the amount four, we can add only one of the two coins to make the amount six and so on so now that i show you how to make all the amount using the one coins and the two coins so now let's look at the five coins so from the five coins so from the amount zero we need only one of the five coins to make the amount five so the minimum of coins that we need to make the six amount is two so i think it's starting to become clear that the first argument and the minimum is the value inside the main coins array and the value is equal to the current amount minus the current coin 
point and after we get the value from the main coins we add plus one for example to get the amount seven we need the current amount which is six minus the current coin let's take the two coins so seven minus two give us five and the five inside the main coins array is one so we need one coin of the two coins to get the seven amount well the second argument is just the main coins at the current amount so for the result the minimum coins that we need to get the six amount is two means five coins plus one coins now let's look at the code the first thing we're gonna do is to initialize an array of the same length of the input plus one and set the first value inside the main coins to zero because we know that to get the amount zero we need zero coins after that we start looping over the amount plus one Also, we initialize a nested for loop that's gonna iterate over the coins for each iteration of the outer loop. And we set the condition if the current amount minus coin is bigger or equal to zero, we get the minimum coin that we need to get the current amount. And after that we return the minimum coins of the amount if it's not equal to infinity else we return one minus one since no combination of coins can reach that value So for the time complexity it's O of n multiplied by m where n is the amount and m is the number of coins and for the space complexity is O of amount or O of a or O of a because we are creating an array of length amount. Thanks for watching see you in the next video.